another video. So last week you may have seen my kind of departure video with the Royal Enfield. I've still got it right now. At this very moment I've got it, but the bike will have actually gone, which is really strange and saying as I'm kind of saying this now. Would I walk into a branch? Yes. Would I, or what would I do with this bike? What would I do with a Royal Enfield GT650 if I had one? Now there are a lot of things that you can do with it and this is the nice thing about Royal Enfield is because they want you to modify the bikes, which is why I've got this beautiful Expedition Special, which has been modified. This is, I believe, made out of the factory as a one-off special. So what would I do? Strange enough, I've actually done a drawing and the drawing is here. This is the brawler. Brawler to me is an all-round vehicle that you can take on road, off-road definitely, because that being in this part of the world, that is what I can do a lot of as well. Take it off-road, take it on track days, take it to the Malay Mile, that would be fantastic. So this concept of the brawler accommodates for that. Now the other purpose of this video is to show you what I can do with a Royal Enfield without actually changing too much, but yet changing the complete visuals of it by making it look your own. And this is the whole point of modifying is when you buy a bike, you don't want to buy an old bike that you've got stripped down all the way down to the bare metal frame and build it back up. You want a bike that you can modify easily. That essentially, that essentially makes life a lot easier for you and eliminates all the worry and excessive spending, hidden spending, that's the biggest thing. When you're actually building a bike, there's a lot of hidden costs. By doing it this way, you're eliminating all those factors. So let's take it from the back. What would I do? Okay, yes, granted this isn't a standard GT650, but how I would make it different. So I would address this hoop at the back. Not the worst of things ever. This hoop there is still a curved hoop. So that is the nice thing about this. Royal Enfield give you a curved hoop. And I know that a lot of us builders like to add curved hoops. If you want to extend your seat so that it actually fits with that, more of a curve, you can do that. If you're a little bit more adventurous like I am, you might just cut that hoop a little bit, do a little kick up. Simple, you've still got the hoop there, but obviously it's a little bit of fabrication work and you're going to have to do that safely because it is quite a critical part of the structure. Not as critical as it would be holding these shocks at the back, but it is quite a vital part of the structure here. We'd then eliminate this tail bit at the back, this mud guard. See if there's a neater way you can do that, but this whole number plate system at the back, you might pull that on the side, depending if you're going with a single exhaust system, which I would like to. So on this side here, I would, I mean, there's two ways you can do it. I'd like to change this exhaust, I'd like to change this exhaust up here, so that then it feeds up there and then down into a twin box system, which would then free up the other side for the number plate to come on there. A single axle kind of number plate mount on there, that would be brilliant. Or even just curving around, creating a little frame section, which then holds the number plate at the back here. That would be even cooler, actually, can think of it. Shocks, do you know what the brakes? Okay, let's talk about the brakes. The brakes are fine. Might color them a different color. Frame. Depending how much framework you're doing, you could always powder cut the frame again, but as it stands, it looks fine. Shocks. I would love to put some TFX shocks on this. If I was taking it off-road, TFX are one of the leaders in off-roading shocks, so I would definitely fit some TFX shocks on here, so a twin shock. I would create a custom seat that then works with this little Brat-style kick at the back. Still accommodate for two people, and or luggage on the back, being an off-road bike. It would be great to go on vacation or actually be able to put some luggage on the back. So I would keep these footrest mounts where they are just in case I need to put a second pair of feet on there. It would be pointless to get rid of that. I like all these little bits here, all these shielding. I might even, I might drill that just to put a little bit of a pattern there. You could also create some CNC'd ones yourself. This section here, I wouldn't do an airbox delete on here because of obvious reasons. I would just simply paint that in the brawler color scheme. Same with the tank, new brawler color scheme on that. Keep this cap as it is. I do like this black finish on here. Now that looks powder coated to me. Durable, so I'm guessing it's powder coating. I would do that the same because I know that the standard GT650s come off with like a, a mirrored 
finish or more of a metal finish, I would keep that the same. Same as the rocker cover up here. These clip-on bars I would keep as is because I think the riding position for this is perfect on and off-road as well. They're high enough to work and to handle on an off-road bike, still low enough to actually keep that profile quite clear. These mirrors are aftermarket mirrors, but they are Royal Enfield mirrors and I do love them. I would keep them as is as well. I wouldn't change that. Might put a new headlight on, but again, I quite like that as a front fairing. And the mudguard might just shorten the mudguard ever so slightly, but of course that's there for a reason. And the rims themselves, I like this black finish on here. So I might do that to mine as well. Get rid of these reflectors on the side. That is an absolute must. And then just some tidier, probably some Kellerman indicators on the side. And that's pretty much it. Job done. And that would be the brawler. A really simple, quick flip of a job, but so effective. But it actually goes to show you what you can do with actually a little work, not a lot of cash, but a decent paint job, and you can instantly make the bike your own. So right below, if you actually want to see the brawler being made in the workshop, I will see what we can do, see what we can make happen. So until next week, everyone, have fun and go create your perfect Royal Enfield bike. Why not? <laughs>